everyone, so I wanted to quickly show you my latest creation. It's a little red cincher. I had a few scraps left of the red satin left over from my Sebastian corset. So I just wanted to use them up and not waste them. So I decided to make this little cincher out of it. So let me show you it from all angles. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So this corset is 22 inches at the waist, and as you can see, it is quite short. So in the center front here, it's nine and a half inches, and on the sides here, it's only six and a half inches. So if you have a large hip spring, that's a large difference between your waist and your hips, this is actually a pretty good option for you, because since the corset doesn't go over your hips, it cuts right above it, it leaves your hips free, and it prevents a lot of pinching. For this particular corset, you'll notice that there is no uh, busk in the front, so what I had to do to put this on is actually just loosen the laces all the way and then slip it over my head and it actually doesn't take that much more time than having to open and close a busk as long as the corset is large enough with the laces completely loose to actually either slip it over your head or slip it up from your feet. Okay, so here's the corset laid out flat, and the material of it is three layers. So as you can see, the outside is the red satin, and that is um, fused to couture, which is the interlining, and on the inside, you have this black twill. And for the construction of this corset, I fused the satin to coutille using stitch witchery, and then I stitched those panels together using um, faux flat felt seams, so just top stitching. And then I did a floating liner inside. It's attached on the last panels here at the grommets and also in the center front to keep it from, you know, just going all over the place and also to hold the half inch wide steel flats in place. And then on top of these panels, I put external boning channels. This is the first time that I tried doing um, double wide external boning channels. So these are an inch wide, and then I stitched it down the center so it actually has space to put in two quarter inch wide spiral steel bones in there. And I found this a lot easier to do than the, um, the single width of boning channel. And also I think it came out a lot neater. And also there was a lot less uh, fabric wasting in that. So I think I might start doing this um, more often often on my other corsets in the future. There's also a quite wide waist tape running through the entire length of this corset. It's one and a half inches wide and the one thing that I'm kind of disappointed about is that um, you can actually see it in the panels here um, and it looks like a wrinkle but it's just the outline of the waist tape. So obviously there's no center busk here, so it's all just one piece. It's because the center was actually too short. I don't have a busk that's short enough for this. Um, from top to bottom, it's uh, nine and a half inches high. So I uh, I didn't want to cut down a busk and risk just ruining it. So um, I just made the center without a busk. And actually it looks quite nice over top of clothing and underneath clothing because it's uh, it's not too bulky. And speaking of boning, there are 22 bones in all. So I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 quarter inch wide spiral steel bones. And then of course the two flats in the center front. And then on each side, uh, sandwiching the grommets are two quarter inch wide steel flats, heavy duty. So that's 22. And here's a modesty panel here, and you can see I boned it. So it has three horizontal bones here and two vertical ones. So they're all spiral bones, so it's sturdy but still slightly flexible. So it won't collapse on you, but it's not going to hurt your back either. And I did something a little different this time. I finished the modesty panel to look like um, it's continuous with the rest of the corset. So I put the binding in black on the top and bottom, and I also put lace along the top here. And so this is eight inches long by uh, five and a half inches wide. So somebody could wear the corset theoretically um, at a reduction of just um, 27 inches and it would still look uh, basically nice and continuous and congruent in the back. And I added a little bit of visual interest here. So this is my first time trying to floss <laughs> and I think it was only a, a half success. Um, in retrospect, I probably would have made it thicker, you know, just uh, going more times across and make the X's a little bit more um, noticeable, but I was going for something light and, you know, not too uh, stark against the red. And at the top here, I added a little bit of stretch lace, and I think it just adds like a little bit of prettiness. It makes it a little bit more girly. 
And in the back here, there are 20 size zero grommets, um, also black. And I would have put double zero black grommets, but um, I had a fight with my setter. <laughs> so it just wasn't um, setting the double zero grommets properly. So I just went with the uh, size zero grommets here. And in the future, I'm just going to have to buy a separate um, anvil and a kit to set those double zero grommets properly. All right, so that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining me. And please stay tuned for later on this week because I have a special announcement coming up. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.